Finally, Anthropic released their latest and long-awaited model, Claude 4. I beg your pardon? I mean Claude 3.7 Sonnet. They call it the first hybrid model which can think longer on harder problems and quicker on easier problems, but OpenAI 03 Mini can also do this. They're also releasing Claude Code, which is exactly like Ader, just more refined and more expensive. It uses Claude 3.7 under the hood, which costs the same as Claude 3.5, $3 in, and $15 out per million tokens, which isn't cheap. Claude Code has a GitHub repository, not because it's open source, but for logging user issues, just like how Cursor did it. Let's test it right away. Install it globally using npm, then start it using the Claude CLI command. On Windows, if you want to use Claude Code, you'll have to use WSL, or Git Bash for now. I'll be using Git Bash. Select a theme, and Claude Code will open up. An OAuth link will show up, which requires you to authenticate Claude Code with your Anthropic console account. This will create and manage API keys on your behalf, so no need for .env files. Paste the code from the OAuth, and it will create the API key and log you in. You'll receive some vague security warnings and effective coding advice. The most important one is to clear the context when starting a new task, because carried over context is very expensive. You'll be asked for permissions to read files and folders then to enable automatic updates. After that, you're ready to start with Claude Code. It's a very straightforward setup. As per Anthropic's recommendation, we're going to use a scaffold of a MERN stack, but replacing Mongo with SQLite, because SQLite is the ultimate boss. Let's tell Claude Code to clone the repository and modify it into an LLM speed test app, which is extremely useful if you don't want to test out each and every provider to see which one has fast DeepSeq R1 inference speeds. It'll ask permissions and has the option to remember permissions, just like Ader does. After it fails to use Git Bash on Windows, it rightfully uses the fallback of creating the files directly. It then gives us the terminal commands to execute. Let's install the packages and run the client and server. It looks good? Let's ask our chat app to create an AI company's web page in HTML. Some validation is added. It has some nice looking graphs and stats, but it's returning sample data and not actual responses from models. Let's add API keys for different API providers and ask Claude Code to stream actual responses. If we refresh, we see that it added the providers, but not the models. Let's give it the light LLM JSON file, which contains model metadata.
it's done, and if we refresh, we see that it was able to indeed add models for API providers. If we test it, however, we see that it's unable to stream responses from OpenAI. Let's give it the error. If we try it again, we see that it works. To be honest, I don't feel like it's significantly better than Ader. It just handles context better, without requiring a user to add files manually. It added a more colorful diff view, and has execution duration for a task. Let's push the repository to GitHub. I'll open source the project so you can use it for free, unlike Claude Code. There's a glitch on Git Bash, which flickers the screen if you paste too much text in the terminal so just be on the lookout for that. Another feature of Claude Code that Ader doesn't have is the ability to increase the search block when applying changes, in cases whereby the search returns multiple results. Claude also has MCP support, and Ader doesn't. Besides this, Ader can be used with different large language models, including local models, but Claude Code only supports Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Ader also supports Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Ader also supports the architect encoder modes to explicitly separate project planning and writing code, and Claude doesn't. I thought Claude code would iterate on errors like a coding agent, so we don't go back and forth between testing and coding, but I guess it's not embedded in it. We have to also use the test-driven approach like we do with Ader, so it doesn't have any significant lead in that. Overall, I still prefer Ader over Claude code for now considering the cost and closeness of performance also considering the variety of Ader. Claude Code also has some of the issues we've had with Ader and Klein, including not sending the latest version of files to the language model, leading to search replace blocks which don't match any code. Overall, it did create the speed test app, but took around 20 minutes, the other time I was AFK waiting for it to finish. It also used 6 million tokens and around $5 for this simple app. Most of the tokens were cached tokens, so that's why it wasn't 6 multiplied by $15. $5 an hour is approximately $40 a day and $160 a month, and this code base isn't even complex. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is available in Cursor, and Cursor is still $20 somehow, so it's definitely still the best value for money in the market currently, even cheaper than open source alternatives. Here's how the final app looks like. I don't think many intermediate developers can create this in 30 minutes, but it's also not the cheapest app because it cost $5 in 30 minutes to develop. I'd gladly pay $5 if it created this app in 10 minutes, without a lot of back and forth trying to manually resolve errors. Let me show some of the anthropic recommendations for Claude Code so we can see them practically. Unfortunately, it thinks we didn't fully implement authentication, but the Supabase auth works well. It wasn't able to read the Supabase client JavaScript file somehow. It was however able to create a document which explained the code base well.